Hi kids! Today we're going to learn about letters. Every letter has a shape. Every letter has a name. Every letter has a sound. We're going to learn about some very special letters called vowels. Now vowels are so important that there's at least one in every word and in every syllable. Let's learn a song about short vowels. A is for apple, a, a, a. E is for elephant, a, a, a. I is for igloo, i, i, i. O is for ostrich, o, o, o. U is for umbrella, a, a, a. That's our A, E, I, O, U, our vowels. A is for Cindy Edwards and I created this little song with sign language elements. As you could probably guess, this is the sign for apple and we added the ah, ah, ah. This is the sign for elephant and of course adding the eh, 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 like the elephant is trying to reach for his back. Igloo was a little bit harder. This is the only sign I found for igloo, but this is the sign for cold. So I added the I sound, i, 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 along with the cold. The O is easy because it just has the ostrich eating from the O. And that's, of course, when you say ah, ah, ah. And the U is kind of like you're trying to push an umbrella up. Uh, uh, uh. I put actions that are sign language with the short vowel sounds and um, the letters so that it would make it easier for students to remember. I'm not a speech therapist and I'm not a reading specialist, but I do have my degree in elementary education. And I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks that I've learned from observation and also from my own research and from valuable input from my colleagues that I have worked with to help their kids learn the short vowel sounds, especially kids who are English language learners. Sometimes they have a difficult time with vowels because these sounds aren't even in their native languages. Two very typical sounds to get mixed up are the short I and the short E. And there are a couple of ways that I found that help the kids so that they can differentiate between the two sounds. And what you need is a mirror first. And what you have them do is, if you notice when you do the short E sound, you say eh, eh and you'll notice your breath goes out and your chin kind of comes forward. If you point that out to the kids and you have them look in the mirror and make the sound with them, then that helps them so that they can really see the mechanics of how to make the sound. Eh, eh, eh. Now you use the same type of trick with the I, but if you notice when you make a short I sound, eh, eh, your mouth kind of smiles and you'll notice the breath kind of almost goes right up against the roof of your mouth. So I have students put their finger up on their head. So they'll hold the mirror in one hand, look in the mirror, and put a finger on their head while they say, I, I, I. And I also point out the smile. You can call it the happy letter if you want. Now, after they've gotten the short I and the short E sound with the mirror, then I like to add a little game. Um, I take a little box, this is one from a canned food plat, flat where they put the canned food. I put a capital I and a lowercase i everywhere on it. And then I have the students take a small stuffed animal and throw it in either the I box or the E box. And after they've thrown it in one, if they throw it in the I, then of course they would say eh, eh, eh. And if they throw it in the E, then eh, eh, eh. And um, if they get it right, I'll let the stuffed animal give them a little high five. They really like that. They think it's really fun. Then, if they progress even more, I'll add pictures 
of things that start with the short I and the short E sounds. Sometimes that can be a little tricky because short vowels are usually in the middle of words. Well, all vowels are most of the time in that. So I'll take like an igloo. This is inside, internet, iguana, and I'll turn them upside down on the floor. I'll take an elephant, eggs, elevator, and elbow, and I'll turn it upside down on the floor. We'll mix them up, and then the kids take turns picking them and putting them in the correct box. And they really like this too. After they've gotten the short I and the short E, then a lot of times I like to add an O. Short O is one of the easiest vowels to learn. Then maybe once they get that down, you can add the rest of the vowels a little bit at a time. So I hope these tips and tricks will help your kids learn how to differentiate between the different vowels, especially the, the short vowels. So happy learning.